So today we're going to find out whether you can eat only at Fortnum's for 24 hours for £30. So £30 our budget, let's see what we can get from the food hall. Do you think I'm up to the challenge? Well, we're going to find out. Hey, today I'm outside Fortnum's, we're going to do a £30 challenge. We're going to see if we can buy 24 hours worth of food for £30. So Fortnum's has been a supplier to the royal family for centuries and if it's good enough for the royal family, it's good enough for us. Let's head inside. If you're new here, I'm Emily. Stick around for home renovations, shopping, reviews and vlogs. It's better to visit Fortnum's on a weekday rather than a weekend day because as you can see, it's a lot quieter if you do. I absolutely love the biscuits in Fortnum Masons and look at the beautiful tins that they come in. Looks like these would take up most of the budget and don't really count as a meal, so we'll move along. <laughs> Paddington, what are you doing over here? Shouldn't you be with the marmalade or something? I really love that Fortnum sell Paddington bears, such an English treasure. Ooh, delicious sweet treats. So they have these mini shoppers and inside they have truffles, which look so cute. Wouldn't these make a beautiful gift? Chocolate coins, always makes me think of Christmas. They have mini marshmallows and they are £1.30 each. Look at these chocolate bears. 30 pounds. Tea, glorious tea. There's so much tea over here. I love the boxes of the tea. They've got reusable totes, have a picnic blanket. How nice is this design? Love it. Over here we even have fruit cake in a little tin. Oh look, boiled sweets. They have lots of different flavours. And they come in a beautiful silver tin. I just love the packaging in Fortnum Masons. Look at these. These have little tea bags in. I had one of these before and they actually have silk tea bags inside and there is just something about a silk tea bag. Such a nice gift. Before we head downstairs, can you guess what food item Fortnum Masons created back in 1738? Put your guesses below. Let's go find out. So on this level, we've got lots of biscuits, tea, we've got some wine, some sweet treats, and we're gonna head downstairs to, well, we can see more wine there, but we've got bakery items and their food halls down there. Okay, I think it's time for a basket. They didn't actually have any trolleys down here, which was surprising, but they do upstairs. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please do all those lovely things, like and subscribe. It really does help me out and it means a lot, so thanks. The cinnamon swirls look delicious. Ooh, what are these? Ooh, apricots on top. They have such a delicious section of <laughs> brownies and cakes and pastries very very tempting i like the croissants are in bags like this a lot of the items are just out on display so you then help yourself and pop them in a bag yourself look at the bread and the bagels they look delicious and they're made fresh in piccadilly have you tried any new or unique food from here before that you'd recommend? Over in the fridge section, the salads look delicious.
These drink bottles are aluminium drink bottles and they have a water refill station in the food hall as well. So you can refill your own bottle of water. Oh, British marmalade. This is where Paddington should be. These strawberries look so fresh and delicious. They're seven pound a punnet. And lots of drinks options up here. These bottles are very pretty. Lavender and pear. The sausage rolls are a really good size and they look delicious. They sell scotch eggs and pork pie beef wellington they also have a huge selection of uncooked meats to choose from so many different types of crackers i've had the beetroot crackers before and they taste really nice which is surprising i don't really like beetroot so i was surprised by that i've also had the walnut and seed crackers before also very nice can definitely recommend them I've got chris over here debating whether to get a packet for lunch They also have a lot of sauces to choose from. They've got their famous Fornham sauce, they have beetroot ketchup, they have regular ketchup, they have Piccadilly sauce, there's lots of sauces. I think my challenge was extra hard considering their deli is currently closed, so I may have to come back and redo this challenge. You'll have to keep watching to see how I managed with the challenge. All checked out and it's almost time to try the food and find out whether £30 was enough of a budget. So I'm ready to try some of the delicious treats from Fortnum and Mason's. I'm so excited. So it was a little bit difficult to find um, both dinner and lunch from the food hall, but that's because the bakery is currently closed. So they're renovating their store, which probably wasn't the best time to go, but I did manage to buy breakfast, lunch, and dinner and i'm so excited and very hungry <laughs> for breakfast so let me know if you want to see another fauna mason's challenge once they've finished renovating their store for breakfast we've got a sweet pastry item i love their bags look oh fauna mason on i've got cabbages uh what else can we see them here lobsters strawberries broccoli, fish, looks like the cinnamon swirl I went for is a little bit squished, looks so good, okay, mmm, I do enjoy a cinnamon swirl and this is really good, and you can see but there is a lot of cinnamon on there, and because there's so much cinnamon it's very fresh, Mm-hmm. A cinnamon bun was £3.50, so starting off very well for breakfast. I'm going to pop the lunch and dinner food in the fridge and I'll see you at lunchtime. It's a very gloomy day today. Um, people had to put the lights on in the kitchen. So for lunch, and went for a sparkling water, which cost £1.95. Also went for this baguette, which cost £4. And keep watching because I am going to show you what food item Fortnum Masons invented back in 1738. If you haven't guessed already, I put a few yes in the box below. Let me know what you think it is and you're going to find out very shortly. So I went for a baguette. And some orange curd. So the orange curd came in at £4.50. They have a whole wall of jams and lemon curd, orange curd. They even do lime curd as well. 
So there's lots to choose from, but I went for the small jar of orange curd to have on my baguette. And then I have something else as well, which I'm gonna show you once I've prepped the baguette. Oh, I love the lid, look, spread joy. <laughs> I love the thickness of the lemon curd. It's really nice. Sometimes you can get, oh, orange curd, it's not lemon curd. I love the thickness of the orange curd. Okay, trying the orange curd. The orange curd is really nice. It's like lemon curd, but an orange version. So if you like lemon curd and you like oranges or orange things, then I'm pretty sure you'd like the orange curd. That is really nice. The baguette is a little bit chewy. So I'm just gonna try a slice. That and think on. The middle is fresh. So I think it's the crust which is quite chewy. Um, it is a sourdough baguette, so maybe that's quite standard for sourdough. I don't know. Mm, it's a crust. They also have them all out. I personally would prefer it if they were already in the bags, like sat on the side, you know, like they do in Tesco's where they've already got them in the bags ready and you just grab a bag. Maybe the outside would be fresher then. Um, but that's really nice in terms of like the orange curd on the beer is nice. Really like the orange curd. Really, really like the orange curd. Like that. That's all they need to do. So you just go in and you grab your baguette. You don't have to like choose which baguette and then pop it in the bag. But next up onto the sparkling water. Nice fizz there. It says natural mineral water, gently sparkling. It tastes nice. It tastes like sparkling water, but it's not too fizzy. Yeah, gently sparkling. I think that is a good description of the water. Now we're going to find out what Ford and Mason's invented in 1738, which is crazy. I didn't even know this food was that old. Like, not old, because it sounds like this has just been sat on the side for like 200 years. <laughs> It has not, um, but I didn't know it was invented that long ago. Look, it comes in such cute packaging. So it's the same design that's on their bags, but in a little box. And I tried to take the sticker off, but I can't without ripping the box. So I'm just gonna slice it instead. She says. Okay, are you ready for this? Are you ready to see what's inside this box? Dun, 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 dun. Scotch egg. So back in 1738, Paul and Masons created Scotch eggs and it feels so fresh. Look, this is huge, huge Scotch egg. Costs £4.50. We're gonna cut inside and see what it looks like. Okay, we're going for it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The egg is like runny inside. Oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna chop a little bit off. Oh, 
It looks so good. I've never seen a scotch egg look that good before. Okay, we're going for it. So Fortner and Masons created the Scotch Egg in 1738 as a pocket stored meal on the move. So it has a runny yolk protected by spiced outdoor reared pork and finger friendly breadcrumb covering. That tastes amazing. Like amazing, amazing. I didn't even know I liked Scotch eggs that much. Like, wow, that's so fresh. That tastes yeah incredible you have to try the scotch eggs if you go to fortnum masons and they're huge you could easily share them i just love that the eggs are on the inside as well okay it's my favorite thing that i've eaten so far today this is really good really really good so orange curd was good, scotch eggs, amazing, baguette could have been better, but scotch eggs, oh my goodness, best scotch egg I've ever tasted. <laughs> Ready for dinner. Look at this. And it costs £9.50. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. I also went for the Fortnum Mason's Natural Spring Water. So I'll give that a try first. See what it's like in comparison to the sparkling water. Tastes like nice still water. Refill, reuse, recycle. Nice. It feels like you're drinking out of a drinks bottle as well. So it's a beef bibimbap and I'm gonna try the beef first. I did not realize before, it actually has red chili in too. The beef is nice. Got onions. All tastes really fresh. I'm gonna try some of the sauce. Oh, got some rice going everywhere there. Sauce is nice, like a sweet chilli sauce. Obviously it'd be nice to mix it all in together as well. Green beans are lovely. I love the crunch you get from the green beans, so they're not cooked too much. They're perfect. Same with the egg. I love it where you've got like a little bit of yolk showing as well, like runny yolk, which is nice. I'm gonna mix it all in together and yeah, go for it. I am gonna leave the chilies though. I'm not a huge fan of spicy food. This is really good. You know, sometimes you need the sauce or a dressing on food because it doesn't taste that nice. It's quite dry. This is not the case here. This is, yeah, lovely. It tastes extremely fresh. Fresh and tasty. Would definitely go for this again. 100%. I'll try another little bit of beef as well. So I would highly recommend this and I'm going to try their salads again next time I go into Fortnum Masons. Now it was quite tricky to do breakfast, lunch and dinner because their deli section is currently closed. It's under renovation. So I might have to go back and do this challenge again in Fortnum Masons when it's open. 
or maybe I'll do a different challenge. What do you want to see from the food hall when they're open? Let me know. But keep watching because I'm going to tell you whether I managed to complete the 30 pound challenge or not. So love this. Okay, have the receipts. I'm ready. <laughs> so the orange curd, £4.50, what it says. I'm going to take off the 10p bag. So the bags are 10p. It's quite a big size as well, which was nice. Um, oh, it comes up as 8p and then 10p. But I only got charged once for 10p. So maybe they were 8p and now they're 10p for their bags. Anyway, baguette, £4. Sparkling water, one ninety-five. The aluminium water bottle, £3.50. I love that you can refill it. That's really clever. Nice idea. The cinnamon bun was £3.50. The beef salad, amazing, £9.50. And the scotch egg, oh my goodness, that scotch egg was £4.50. Which brings us to a total of £31.45. So I went over budget by £1.45, but I don't think I could have gone under. I don't think there was anything I could have like switched out or had instead to get under that £30. So to eat a day's worth of food at Fortnum Mason's, it's going to cost you just over that £30 mark. If you want to see me do another food challenge, let me know. If you want me to go somewhere else and do something, let me know as well. Any video ideas, I'd absolutely love. So do all those lovely things, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.